Some of my earliest and best memories were right here at the Cox Science Center and Aquarium, which back then was the South Florida Science Museum. I think I was seven or eight years old when I came here with my Girl Scout troop. I slept under the stars in the planetarium. I remember going out and catching some little guppies in the pond out in the front and then feeding it to the fish in the aquarium. I was enamored with this organization. It gave me a love of science that to this day I, I obviously still have. But being a local, um, I grew up just a couple streets away. Being a local and having this organization to go to every single weekend to learn from, to have fun at, really meant the world to me. And I remember that and I factor that in when I make a lot of the decisions that we have now at the Cox Science Center and Aquarium. So the Science Center has an incredible history here in Palm Beach County. So imagine during the 50s, you have the space race going on, all of these incredible innovations happening, and then Sputnik was launched in October of 1957. Well, when Sputnik was launched, there was this kind of attitude of, well, we need to catch up as far as space is concerned and, and the stars and, uh, and all of that kind of thinking was going around. So what happened was junior leagues all over the country became activated. They started creating science centers, little museums, planetariums all over the country so that we could get the kids and the youth really involved and really interested in space because, hey, the Russians had launched Sputnik. We needed to catch up. So in 1959, a group of all female volunteers, the Junior League of the Palm Beaches, founded and incorporated the, what was then, the South Florida, I think it was originally the South Florida Planetarium and Museum. And we have pictures of them with shovels in the grounds, uh, this wonderful group of ladies and their kids with them breaking the ground and shoveling the dirt. And it was very a small organization back then, not even 3,000 square feet. And that took them about two years. Fast forward to October 21st, 1961. We open our doors to the public for the first time and we have just not looked back. I am uh, elated. I truly have to pinch myself that I think the eight-year-old little girl that came here and saw Susie the Mastodon and the big pendulum swinging and all of these classic quintessential Science Center exhibits that changed my life. I now work here, I get to run the place, and I get to see us through our next evolution. We truly are going through a Renaissance-like transformation. And to be at the helm of an organization that is doing um, such incredible work like that is, is more than I could have ever imagined. You come here to m get your hands dirty, to do your dissections, to blow things up, to see our fire and ice show. That's what we do here at the Cox Science Center and Aquarium. You can build an app, you can 3D print, whatever your heart desires. And that's what this community, our students, the families in Palm Beach County deserves. So to think back when I was a little girl that now I get to do that and lead this organization into the next phase is, uh, is truly magical for me. Most exciting part about this is that we are tripling the size of our exhibit spaces. So we have about 25,000 square feet of exhibit space, the Science Center that you know right now, that you know and love. We are pushing that to about 75,000 square feet of exhibit space. So a world-class aquarium, exhibits that you won't find in digital exhibits that you won't find in any other science center around the country. Uh, a steam studio where we will integrate art into the sciences and a traveling exhibit gallery that will allow us here in West Palm Beach to bring in some of the most uh, lucrative and lovely and wonderful uh, traveling exhibits from around the world. So we won't be pigeonholed by size anymore. We will have the space to bring in this programming that everyone in Palm Beach County really wants to see and that Palm Beach County deserves. So it's going to be quite a wonderful project when we get done with it. I think one of, one of the things I am most excited about in this expansion is the Grand Lobby. When you walk into the new Cox Science Center and Aquarium, you're gonna go into a 6,000 square foot space that's gonna be warm and welcoming and inviting. You'll immediately be greeted by our world-class staff here at the Cox Science Center and Aquarium. 
And then you will look around and you will be immersed in science. There will be a great white shark hanging from the ceiling. There will be submersibles from Harbor Branch. We will have uh, rockets from Aerojet Rocketdyne. We will have models of planets. Every, an example of every type of science discipline we are going to show you here at the Cox Science Center and Aquarium will be on display in the front lobby. It's going to be a beautiful space. Families will meet there. That will kind of be the rallying point of, uh, of your visit to the Science Center. So I think that I'm most excited for that. And when you walk in from the outside into the lobby, it's this huge, beautiful glass panel um, wall, and you'll be coming in from an incredible fountain. We're going to have a fountain right as uh, before you walk into the front doors. And uh, just seeing that will really set the stage for your wonderful experience here at the Science Center. We want to thank all of you for your patience through the construction of the new Cox Science Center and Aquarium. The new grand opening date is the early 2027. And if anything changes, we will absolutely keep all of you updated. Right now, things are going great. We're on track, but of course, with construction, you never know. Uh, but it's really important, the Cox Science Center and Aquarium that's here today that you all know and love, we will be open and operating during this entire time. Please come and visit us. We'll still have world-class attractions and we look forward to opening in 2027.